guys will have some time to do this for me if he's not too busy they're not that far from me it is definitely gorgeous out 70 some degrees I would love to be driving the R8 today but with those rims I don't want to take the uh, chance of screwing something up because of the one that's bent, so. Like I said, these guys are probably maybe five minutes away from me. All right, let's see if these guys are busy today. No, we might get lucky, guys. We might get lucky. I've known these guys for years. Okay, guys. If you're getting any tire work or anything like that, definitely check this place out on 2.30. In Mount Joy. These guys do awesome work, very respectful, uh, very knowledgeable. All right, everybody, wheels are ready to be taken. So now I'm on my way home. Like I said, these guys, I mean, if you guys are from the area and you got any kind of tire work, anything like that, definitely go there. Uh, they do, like I said, they're very respectful, very knowledgeable people. They're just good people, good business people. Sorry about all that noise. It's beautiful outside, so I had the windows down. So if I'm repeating myself, it's, it's because I wasn't sure if uh, you heard everything there. So uh, anyway, so now, like I said earlier, on my way home and um, basically drop off the tires make a phone call. Hopefully the guy is ready for my rims today. I can take care of all that today. And um, I am like really excited. I wanna see how this looks. I've seen it on a picture, but sometimes the picture doesn't do justice. All right, everybody, I just got home. So we're gonna take these uh, tires out of the truck. And uh, make that phone call and see if uh, he's ready for these rims. So, anyway, I also want to tell you guys before I forget, real quick here. Now, these guys, like I said, they're very knowledgeable. Um, as far as the sensors, it's an older car, so they're saying basically six to eight years, and uh, the wheel sensors. They, uh, they just start messing up. So he's basically saying it's best probably to replace them, which I'm gonna. I'll just put brand new ones on when I put the tires. So I didn't realize that, but I guess they do have an expiration. So they're saying basically between six and eight years, 
there's a possibility they start messing up. So they look okay, but uh, I noticed I did have one or one wheel or two wheels that uh, were acting up and the tires weren't low on air. So it's going to be a new item that I'm going to be putting on uh, on these rims once I mount the tires back on to uh, the rims. That's pretty much it. So I got to get this going here. So hopefully you like the content. If um, you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, I'm going to try to put that underneath my uh, video. And um, definitely uh, stay tuned to the next video and see what the car looks like. You guys already know what it looks like now, what it looked like then, and, and see if you guys like the way it's going to look. So if you subscribe, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't and you like the content, subscribe. Guys, enjoy the day. It's beautiful. Take care. Ciao. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome to the channel, Life on Wheels 717. Uh, right now, I'm actually uh, loaded up with my rims that I talked about on the last video. I got them uh, taken off the uh, tires off the rims so I can take the rims and get them uh, done at uh, Garage Boys Powder Coating in Columbia, Pennsylvania. I just gave him a call and uh, he's pretty much ready to get these. So I was going to put them in the bed, but uh, from the last ride, bringing them back, they were uh, sliding all over the place. So I was like, no way. So believe it or not, they fit pretty comfortably here. I love this truck. So I got all of them and there's one that wouldn't fit. And that guy is right there. All right, so like I said, that's uh, one of the mods that I wanted to do to the R8 for a little while now. So I am uh, literally uh, gonna take off here and deliver these. He's expecting me. So what else? I think that's about it. Let's get on the way. All right, so we're in the truck and uh, rims are back there. Moving around a little bit, but they're not moving as much as they would on the bed of the truck. That's one thing about bed liners. I love them because it protects them as far as the actual truck, but unless you tie something down, it just, they slide, everything slides all over the place. So I don't want to end up banging all these rims back and forth. They're not the cheapest rims in the world. So anyway, so we are on our way. My father told me when I was young, don't play with fire, be careful, son. But we were flames and fell in love. We burned the cities down, down. These guys come recommended. They do. They come recommended by uh, some friends of mine. Um, he had some work done and uh, he did a fabulous job. So I'm looking forward to this getting done. Hey, all right. So we basically dropped off the uh, rims at the powder cutter. So basically, We'll see. Uh, I don't know how long it'll be. If it's going to be a couple of days, a week or two. I told him, take his time. 
He, uh, like I said, he comes recommended by good friends of mine and he does exceptional work. So <laughs> definitely looking forward to uh, seeing that work, workmanship in my car and uh, see how close to the photos that I saw on a car like mine with those rims done like that. So I'm anxious very much. Anyway, so that was pretty much today's event. Getting those uh, rims over there so he can uh, get them done for me and get that modification on that car done. And then um, as far as the Supra, like I said, still waiting on parts. So we'll just, when stuff comes in and I'll keep you guys posted and keep you guys posted in the garage, how that's coming along uh, here within a week. There's some stuff coming, some cabinets and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, I already picked out the floor for it, like I said in the other videos. So basically just a lot of stuff coming for 2018. I'm really excited. And um, if you guys like the content and you want to subscribe, thanks for your support. If you're already subscribed, thank you for your support. Um, and... Um, supporting on what I'm doing and I just love cars. I truly, truly love cars. Basically, just like my channel, Life on Wheels. If it's got wheels, I love it. I just do. I, I've loved it since I was a little kid. So again, thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content of uh, what I'm doing and what I'm going to be doing. So take care until the next vlog.